So we know the incident rate is increasing by three to 5% in kids every single year. We think it's likely due to, we know it's an autoimmune disorder. So what happens with type one diabetes is you have a genetic setup. Uh, you have genetic markers that put you at risk for an autoimmune condition, but then something in the environment has to trigger that attack uh, where all of a sudden your own immune systems attacking your own cells. And we think it could be a virus, it could be something in the environment that we just really don't know. Some people have said vitamin D deficiency, diet, but I think we're seeing an increase uh, incidence of autoimmune disorders across the board. So it's, I think because the genetic setup is always there, it's something in the environment that is triggering the, uh, the start of the immune process. It, it probably is worthwhile to, because some of the things we'll get into later, we'll talk about some specific act, uh, aspects of diabetes. And so autoimmune, meaning someone's own immune system is attacking the pancreas mm -hmm. in specific cells in the pancreas, these beta cells that secrete insulin. And so the result of that is the diminished amount yes. production of insulin. Yeah. And so human, uh, your own immune system attacking your own pancreas and therefore inhibiting its ability to produce insulin. 